Hey guys, it's Amanda here and welcome to my live. In this live, we're gonna be unboxing this big thing right here, my juicer. This is the Juice Fountain Elite. So this is the stainless steel one. Let me adjust the camera a little. I see that it went to the side. Let me just adjust that. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Let me fix that a bit. Okay. All right, all fixed, at least for the most part. At least you guys can see me better now. Okay, so we have, again, the Breville. Breville. Uh, this is the stainless steel one. This is the Juice Fountain Elite. We're gonna be actually making all of this into a juice. And I've got some tips and stuff for you guys. Uh, for your um, greens here, uh, let's, I'll show you right now, but I'll show you again when we get to it after we unbox this. Uh, put all your greens, like chop off the ends of it, the stems, and put them in some water, and that's going to keep them nice and hydrated. When I first put a, took them out, they were kind of looking a little lifeless, <laughs> so I decided to stick them in some water right before I uh, went to, uh, you know, Come in here and do this live with you guys so they'll be nice and crunchy and fresh and actually have some moisture to actually juice out of it so definitely make sure that you are keeping them hydrated they'll just last a lot longer make sure you use uh, ice cold water okay or you could add ice to water and that'd be fine too and then i have washed all those too all right so let's go ahead and unbox this so we're gonna see what's inside of the box here. This is the stainless steel one, the Fountain Elite. Okay, let's see. Well, first off, it has a couple of manuals or something in it. Let's see what we've got. We've got the Juice Fountain Elite manual booklet and directions. So it says here, let's see, anything that we have to be mindful of, remove and safely discard any packaging materials. Let's see, of course, don't touch any sharp blades. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Do not operate juicer more than a minute at a time when the juice rapid rate with firm pressure, allow the motor to rest for one minute between each use. The juicer is only designed to juice fruits and vegetables. Uh, let's see. Do not use any frozen fruit and vegetables. Hard fruits and vegetables would put excess strain into the motor if a low speed is selected. So you'd have to juice on high, obviously. Uh, remove rind and all citrus fruit before juicing. I don't think I have citrus fruit tonight, so we're good there. Do not allow uh, stone fruit unless pits or seed stones have been removed. So you have to, rem you have to remove rind from citrus fruit. The application is not attended by persons, including children. Uh, do not leave unattended. Keep hands, fingers, and clothing away, as well as spatulas and any utensils. Keep appliance clean. Any maintenance other than cleaning should be performed by an authorized uh, service center. Do not attempt to repair or service the juicer. Uh, do not put foreign objects in juicer. <laughs> All right, so I think we've got it there. And then it says, let's see, know your product. We got a couple different parts, obviously. And then it also has assembly. So we'll figure out how to do that. So let's see what the rest of this looks like first. All right, I'm going to have to kind of like tilt it on its side possibly or put it on the ground maybe and lift it. I think tilting it from the side or cutting the side of the box open would probably be a good idea. But we're going to actually put it on the side. I right, kind of push it from the bottom out. So you could kind of do that with the back. You can literally do this with any box that has like this foam stuff in it. You can just push it from the bottom. It's so much easier to get these things out. So just keep pushing until it's all the way out of the box. <laughs> all right, all right, there we go. Okay, that was simple enough, right? So you just keep, see, like, you just press that through, and then that's how you easily get it out. All right, so put that on the ground. Let's take a look at this thing. Okay, I don't want it to fall open, so I'm going to put it on the side. 
this thing's heavy. <laughs> I do not want it to crack my uh, marble, uh, my marble island here. Okay, so first things first, we've got, uh, this is the canister. It looks like the juice probably pours into. I'm just gonna rip the side of it open, I think. Oh, hold on, here we go. Here's a tape right here at the top. Okay. Now this is plastic. Mm. I wish it was glass. Of course it's plastic. <laughs> Nobody makes glass things anymore. I wonder if they sell a glass one. I'm gonna have to look for a glass one because I prefer glass over plastic. And it has the top here where you can easily pop it out and clean it, which I'm gonna rinse mine out, obviously before I do any juicing. So we'll set that there on the side. All right, and then we have a brush, okay. This is probably to clean it, I imagine. Okay, so brush. We don't need that just yet, so I'll just put that over there. I've got, I guess the rest is all attached. Okay, well, take out the cord first. So we're gonna have to plug that in. I'm <laughs> trying to lift this thing up here. Oh, which I gotta get the power, I gotta get the extender cord because I don't have another power outlet on this side. I'm using both of them. Unless I can switch the light over to the other side, but we'll find that out in a second. Okay. So it's got the main piece and we'll save the main one for last. How about that? We'll save the, the big part for last. So this has some stuff stuck in it. I don't know what that is. It looks like the thing to push down your apples and stuff. Okay. Another thing we had to rinse off before we use. And this looks like just the waste bin. Yeah, this is just the waste bin. Plastic again, which I figured that, which is fine. We don't have to rinse that one. <laughs> All right. That's, I'll clean it after we're done with it. You can also buy liners for these. Let me actually select the item on the list and change over this. Well, I'll change over the light in a second. Let me select the item. All right, I selected it. Okay, so we all know what we're talking about here. Okay, so now we're gonna open up the actual juicer here. Oh, it's nice. Well, that's why I paid extra for it. <laughs> I paid extra for it to be nice. <laughs> I, knew, I knew stainless steel would be probably the nicest one. It is nice, I like it. I'm happy. I got a nice one because I got to stare at it. I'm going to keep this thing out. I'm going to actually use it. So, so I want it to be nice on my countertop. Okay. It looks like we've got to open this up. There's some plastic in it too. So we've got some plastic stuff in here. And it says important for remove cardboard packaging from stainless steel filter basket before use. And I think that's what I just did because all of this looks like the blade and I don't think that comes out. So yeah, it doesn't look like it comes out. Everything else is in there. So we will not bother touching anything else. All right. All right. Um, I don't know how to actually clean that though. I guess we'll look into the directions. Okay. All right. And then we've got to do something here. Well, let's put the top back on because there's a sharp blade in there. Here, I'll show you. All right, so they have these little blades in it at the bottom, okay? They're pretty flat, but again, they're super sharp. Don't put your hands in there, <laughs> all right? So we're gonna put the lid back on. So don't touch anything. Okay, I'm gonna just un reel this if i can get it open here all right okay and um, we can take off the little cover and <laughs> kind of just like make this a little bit man more manageable here. 
It's going to keep getting this stuck in my sweater. All right. And it's got some different settings on it. It says reset button under base. So I guess there's a reset button under here. Yep, there's a reset button. I don't know what you need that for, but there's one there. Uh, there's also a couple things on the side here. I assume this is where the juice comes out of, maybe. Yeah, or it comes out of here, maybe. And this is where the waste comes out. I don't know. We'll figure it out together. Okay. And then it has, let's see, it says rotate to remove filter. So I guess that's how I remove the filter and rinse it off. And then we've got a power button. And I imagine this is the speed. It says off. It says softer, harder. Okay. Or soft, hard. All right, so let's see if we can kind of rinse the blade out first before we get to like assembling this more. Um, let's see, let me just read the directions real fast just to make sure I do it right. Okay, it says, uh, we did that. We looked over the safety cord stuff. All right. Hmm. Okay, let's see. Know your product. Okay, so know your product. It says this is called a food pusher. Uh, this is called a food chute. Uh, there's a safety locking arm, which is obviously this thing. Uh, there is a large pulp container, which is this. There is a juice cover, which is this thing. Uh, there is, this is, uh, it says you can wash this in dishwasher too. Dishwasher safe. The only thing that's not dishwasher safe so far is the food pusher. Okay. So do not put that in the dishwasher. Uh, and everything else can be washed on top rack. I, I just prefer just washing in some soapy water. <laughs> Let's see. Two speed electronic control, low speed for softer fruits and high speed for harder fruits and vegetables. So I think I've got all hard fruits tonight. So we're going to be keeping it on hard. All right. All right. I don't have any soft fruit. So let's see. The, the other one is juice jug. Okay. The juice jug is also uh, safe to put on the top rack of the dishwasher. And then it has the overload protection, a button, uh, which is not shown in the power cord, which is not shown in the picture. Okay. Uh, pretty straightforward though. All right. So it says we're going to place filter bowl surrounding on top of motor base. It's already installed. Align arrows with the neutral disc, the arrows to the motor drive, coupling down to be fit securely. Place the juice cover on, push it up, put the button in. Uh, pretty straightforward. Everything's already assembled pretty much, other than the fact that we don't have a pulp bag, but that's fine. I'm going to clean it out tonight, um, so I don't have to worry about that. Uh, let's see, wash your fruits before you juice. I already washed mine. Let's see, apples, carrots, cucumbers will not need to be cut to size. Uh, you can actually put the whole thing in, so that's good. And ensure that's correctly assembled. All right, pretty, pretty straightforward here. And it says to minimize cleanup, place a produce bag to collect the pulp which I didn't buy any of those, but eventually I will. And it gives you a little guide here on how fast you should be um, processing each one. So apples, uh, let's see, we got apples, we've got uh, cucumber can go on low, apples need to go on high, celery needs to go on high, carrots need to go on high, and we've got ginger, which I imagine ginger needs to be high also because it doesn't say. So the only thing that is okay to put on low speed is the cucumber. So we'll have to just switch it to low to do the cucumber. And that says disassembling uh, the product. First, of course, you have to turn it off. Don't forget to do that. Uh, remove the pole container. Place both hands on either side to unlock the arm. Move down the arm. Lift the juice comfort off. We did that already. Remove the Nutri-Disc holder base by turning the filter around to the juice spot. Lift up. Okay, so we're going to rinse this thing out. So let's see if I can get it out. Oh, okay, that was simple. All right, now can I just rinse this or can I pull this little piece out? Okay, I can pull this out. All right, let me rinse this off. 
real fast and we'll rinse off these so we can make our first official juice. All right, so let me just, I got some soapy water right over here. So I'm just gonna use some of this soapy water. It's clean soapy water, so don't have to worry about it. I just filled it up. Okay. Uh, and of course I kind of want to dry it. I'm not sure if it really needs to be dried. <laughs> I don't want to like hurt myself here because you know, it's a sharp blade. I'll just dab it. Okay, we're good. Wait, I dabbed. All right, and this goes in like this. So first we were gonna put it inside it, and then we somehow line this back up. And it will lock in there somehow. So this is the fun part, seeing if I can actually get it to lock in. All right, I don't know how to lock this thing in. <laughs> Obviously, it's not locked in. Uh, let's see. It, there's an arrow, uh, uh, but there's an arrows on the side of it, on the side of the actual um, filter. So I imagine I just press it in and turn it, maybe? I think that did it. Yeah, that did it. It's not, it's not moving. <laughs> it's not coming up again. Oh, well, now it did. Okay, let's try again. Okay. Maybe it's just, I gotta turn the bottom too. All right, we'll look at the directions. Okay, so I pressed it in. How do you put it back in? Let's see, that's disassembling. We figured that out, that was easy. Uh, let me just make sure I assembled it right. And so it says, fit securely inside the uh, filter bowl surrounding the motor base, place the juice cover, filters, uh, filter. Let's see, I did that, let's see. All right, align arrows. Couple and push down until it clicks into place. Oh, I guess that's it. It just clicks. Okay. And then you lift this up and it just detaches. All right, so that's all you do. Oh, that's pretty simple. You just press it in place and it locks in when you press it in. And the only way to unlock it is by lifting the whole thing up. Okay, you see that? So it's, lo it's actually locked in there. That's why I couldn't get it up with my hands, but you get to pull this whole unit up to de-lock it, okay? So that's it. Well, that's simple. All right. All right, well, the rest is pretty straightforward. Let me just rinse this out and then I'll rinse these and we'll make our first juice. Okay, just using some hot water here. All right, let's see which way does this thing go? I feel like I'm missing something, but I guess not. <laughs> like, it seems like there should be more pieces, but again, I guess not. All right. Pretty simple so far. Okay, let's rinse this. Again, I feel like it should be more complicated than it already is. It's just easy. It's super easy. <laughs> I figured that this is gonna take me, I don't know, a while to figure out, but it really isn't. Okay, I'm just gonna put the paperwork down here with everything else. All right, so that is dry and ready to go. Uh, let's rinse these out so I can make my juice. All right. Make sure there's no packaging stuff in there or something. Okay. All right, there we go. This I don't need to rinse out because Obviously, for obvious reasons, I just don't because that's the bin that is going to hold all the waste. All right. I think my dog's scratching at the door. Yeah, they are. Let me get somebody to get them. Hey, guys, I'm doing a live. Can somebody come get the dogs and put them outside? All right. So everything is assembled. And I assume I just line this up to the open end, because there's an open end here. Maybe not, because it's not really fitting that way. Which way do you put this thing on? Uh, <laughs> I don't know how it was on the first place. Or maybe it's, is it upside down? Maybe it's like that. Okay, that fit. 
That actually fit perfect. Okay, let me just double check the picture. I have a feeling I put that upside down because it doesn't look right, does it? No, it doesn't look right. It should be the other way. But why isn't it going in? Let's see, what does it look like in the photo? Oh, let's see. Let's find the assembly again. Okay, it doesn't show how to put this piece on. I assume that I just put it, didn't press hard enough. I don't want to press it too hard, it's plastic. Oh, hold on, let me turn it the right way. There it goes, now it goes in. Really, like, <laughs> it literally just slid right in there. I don't know what I was doing the first time, but apparently I didn't have it right. I don't know, <laughs> it fits perfect now. All right, let's see. Uh, okay, we just gotta go ahead and mix up our stuff. And it just says the like other like stuff in this book is all about juicing. So it just says storing fruit and vegetables. It says fruit and vegetables nutrition facts. It shows some different recipes. There's an apple carrot celery one. There's a beet carrot orange one. There's a parsnip uh, celery pear one. There's a sweet potato celery ginger one with orange. With orange, there's an apple pear strawberry, cantaloupe mint mango. Uh, tomato, cucumber, parsley, and carrot juice, pineapple, peach, and pear juice, uh, apple, peach, and grapefruit juice, and carrot, beetroot, and orange juice. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, twelve different recipes. And then there's a vitamin replacer juices. Okay, so there's a lot. <laughs> the, the next ones are all vitamin replacers, liquid lunches which kind of gives you like a whole ingredients list of like 12 different items <laughs> like on the liquid lunches. And then they have more liquid lunches. Uh, those are a little bit less ingredients, it looks like. Maybe 12, or six to 12 different items on those. Icy coolers. So I guess this is just like cold drinks. Uh, then, we, yeah, it, all this has ice in it. And then you have spirited juices. So that would be like your mixed drinks. And then you have fiber favorites. So if things high in fiber and that one has a lot. But a lot of the stuff on these are like um, a lot of different uh, uh, spices. So this carrot cake one, for example, says like flour, baking soda, nutmeg, cinnamon, cardamom, walnuts, raisin, brown sugar, carrot pulp, lightly beaten, oil and sour cream. Do you actually drink this or you bake it? You bake it. Okay. So <laughs> I guess you can even make a carrot cake in this thing. <laughs> I was like, who's going to drink flour? I mean, seriously, who's, who's drinking flour and baking soda, baking powder? <laughs> like, ah, no, I'll pass on that one. But no, that's actually to cook. So fiber favorites in here is to actually be cooked. You just grind it all in and then you cook it in the oven. So Interesting. All right, so we'll do those another day. Uh, today, I'm just kind of throwing in uh, some of my favorite stuff that's in drinks I've had other places that put together, um, you know, really good juice drinks for me. And I'll go over the ingredients that I'm putting in. But we're going to have to plug this thing in. All right, so first, I've got to move this light because um, I'm going to need to use the power cord. So let me switch it out real fast. Okay, so the light's going to go out for a second <laughs> as I plug this thing in. All right, that's plugged in, but now i got to plug back in the light. We're going to have to probably move it a little bit closer to this outlet because I didn't bring the extension cord down. All right, here we go. Okay, which I have another extension cord. I'll just have to make sure I bring it down and leave it down here. All right, there we go, guys. Now we're ready to make our first juice. Okay, so first things first, we gotta make sure that we assemble this thing right. So the waist goes on the big side. Of course, it's the same size, and it literally slips right on there. I mean, you can't make that any simpler. Anyhow, <laughs> and then you've got the juice side. Okay, the juice side. And I imagine it goes in this little spout because there's a spout for a reason, obviously. I just wish this thing was glass, but I see why it's plastic because it's very molded to the actual juicer. <laughs> All right, now we've got to figure it out. 
Okay, and we've got the little slot thing that goes in there where we're going to push everything in and we've got our ingredients. So let's look at our ingredients before I get into trying to make a juice. I also have my pre-made green drink, but this is like supplement green drink. This isn't actually like a fresh green drink. This is just powder supplement. So I'm going to be hopefully replacing a lot of those drinks. They're still good. Like I still gonna drink it. <laughs> I, I still like these, but yeah, it's gonna be so much better with some fresh stuff. All right, so let's get started. Okay, let me rinse off my hands first. Okay, well, I guess there's not gonna be no waste, right? It's just put it all back. Put it in. So let's start with the, the soft fruit or soft vegetables. And they said that it was going to be cucumber in this mix. So cucumber is going to go first. And I don't have to cut it. Look, I could have just left it really long, which, you know, in this bowl, I didn't want it to fall out. <laughs> so I cut it in half. But I didn't cut the apples, okay? Cork and all, everything's in there. All right. So it supposedly fits right in the chute. Yeah, right. It doesn't fit in the chute. It lied. <laughs> Look at that. It lied. It, there's no way. Maybe this little one. Yeah, if I shove it in there. Okay, we're cutting those in half because I am not going to be shoving it in there. All right, I got the knife right here. We'll just cut it in half. All right, so now you know. <laughs> just cut your apples in half. All right, I don't like doing this on my countertop, but quick and easy. I like doing it on my cutting board. But now I know for next time we gotta cut the we gotta cut the apples in half because I get large apples apparently I guess it only takes small apples and they're uncut all right everything else should go in fine <laughs> so we're gonna do the soft uh, vegetables first which I have cucumber and then we're gonna move on to why not we'll do the green apples uh, and then we'll do the carrots. And then we'll do the celery. And then the last but not least, we'll do ginger, okay? And then see how it tastes. Um, I don't know if that little container can hold everything, so we're gonna find out. Because <laughs> this is a pretty big bowl. I'm not really sure how much is gonna actually hold in there. And I guess worst case scenario, if it doesn't hold all this, then what I'll do is dump this into a larger container like this thing and uh, we'll just make more because I've got this stuff too that I want to add to it. This is uh, the kale and the parsley which we'll add. Um, maybe we'll add that first actually. I don't know. We'll, we'll just play it by ear. We're going to definitely add this and then maybe we'll add that or maybe we'll add that last because I feel like leafy stuff should be last. I don't know. Maybe it's just me. All right. All right, guys, if you're enjoying this, make sure that you hit the follow button because, you know, we do fun stuff in the kitchen. Okay. All right, let's see what we got here. We got to turn it high. It might be loud. I'm not really sure. So, you know, be careful. You might want to turn your volume on low. <laughs> All right, let's see. Hi. Okay. Let's see how loud this thing's going to be. Oh, I don't know if I'm doing it right. Is that high or low? <laughs> I think that's low. That's high. Okay, that's high. Pretty loud. That's low. And, okay. So we're going to do it on low first and put in these. So it's not so loud on low. On high, it's loud. But obviously, you're getting juice out of these things, right? I just stick it in. <laughs> Okay, I feel like this is going to be a mess. It's actually doing really well. Check that out. That's so cool. <laughs> wow, that was a lot. You see how much juice that is? That was a lot in there. I'm impressed. I didn't know that much juice was in a, in a cucumber. I'm impressed. Okay. Let's go ahead and put the apple in. Cause I'll just do apple, I'll just do apple and um, cucumber if it doesn't have much room. I don't know if this is gonna fit. Is 
That is so cool. Why one more? One more. Okay, that is cool. Okay, let's add something. Let's add some carrots. We gotta add more carrots. <laughs> what do you guys think? All right, now we're gonna add some celery. I've got a lot of celery here. This is kind of like a lighter celery. Let's use the darker one. Okay, we're gonna have to add some ginger because I have a feeling we're gonna run out of room. We're gonna add a little ginger, not a lot. And let's add some kale. I'll we'll add a little bit more kale. And maybe some parsley. Alright, what else can we add? Let's do another, I don't know, let's taste it. I want, I want to see if it needs anything else. Can I turn it off? Oh, here we go. That's the off button. Okay. It's powering down. It says, always start the motor first prior to inserting fruit or vegetables. So make sure that you do that. This is awesome. I'm so glad I got this. I mean, look at the difference. This is, this is a supplement <laughs> that I've been drinking for like four years. Uh, it's called Amazing Grass. It is really good. Highly recommend. Uh, but if you get a juicer, look at this. All right. This is awesome. Okay. I'm excited to taste this. Let me go get a cup see what I can actually add to it or it needs anything and not really sure yet, but we definitely need to mix it a bit. So I'm also gonna grab uh, something to mix it with. Uh, so I will do that. Let me get a different cup here. Okay, I'm gonna get a smaller cup because I wanna see if I like it first before I drink a bunch of it. Okay, so that's the supplement one, right? So we're comparing the supplement one to the actual one that is actual juice. Okay, I'm gonna move it over a little bit more so you can see. Okay. Uh, we've gotta mix this up somehow though. I guess I could kinda of shake it. I don't wanna shake it. I'm probably gonna make a mess if I shake it. All right, so I'm just gonna use this wooden spatula thing. And it's kinda of reddish green. You can probably tell from there. Uh, of course, I've got um, a cup that's not white, but can see the color right through there. Okay, so it probably needs some ice, I imagine, but I'll just taste it like this. Let's see if, how good or bad it tastes. See if I did good, see what else I need. I'm pretty sure it's gonna taste fine, but maybe I need something else. It tastes really good. Okay, I did good. <laughs> I did good on the first one. It's perfect. I like it. It really is perfect. Like I could just drink this. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed that. Now, of course you do have to disassemble it to rinse it out and stuff. And you probably wanna put a paper towel underneath this thing so it doesn't drip all over the counter. But you get the idea. So how much did we actually add into that? We added, uh, let's see, I used a whole apple and a half. So one whole apple and a half on that. I added, a whole stalk of the um, of the celery, just one whole green one. This one's just kind of broken apart because it wasn't that green, so I did decide not to use that one. I used just a little bit of ginger, just a little nodule of ginger, and I used about, these are small carrots. I mean, they're really super small. Uh, I've used about, 
I would think it was like six to eight carrots. But again, these are super small carrots. Uh, and then I used two stalks of celery and just like three stalks of parsley. So that's what's in this. Highly recommend. Check it out. It is good. I like it. If you want it sweeter, then just add some more carrot uh, or not technically green apple. Green apple's not sweet. So if you want to add a little red apple to it, it will definitely make it sweeter. But definitely carrots are sweet. You can add more carrots to it. Don't add more ginger. That's going to, you know, of course, not make it sweet. It'd make it more gingery. <laughs> I highly recommend that's good. That is delicious. Okay. I kind of want to make like, I don't know. I want to make another one, but then I, who's going to drink all this? <laughs> but I don't think my kids will drink it, unfortunately, but that's okay. I've got some ingredients for tomorrow and I'll probably just make the same as that juice. Honestly, it's super good. Of course, before you do go disassembling anything and rinsing anything out, make sure you do unplug it. <laughs> I love it. I am so glad I bought it. I've been wanting one of these things for like, I don't know, three years at least since COVID, I guess. I, was, uh, I did an interview with this guy. Uh, if you guys don't know, Hi, my, my name is Amina. You're on my channel. I go by Amina K on all my social media. Uh, but I have a podcast. It's called Amina.fm, uh, A-M-E-N-A.fm. And you could type that right into Google and go to my podcast on any network. But I did an interview with this guy back during COVID, and his name's Eric. And uh, he was in the American Ninja Warrior in 2018. He also was in a movie uh, doing, dealing about the benefits of juicing, and it really sparked my interest to get into juicing ever since I talked to him uh, because he cured his cancer with it. Uh, at least, you know, that's his story. You know, I can't endorse or condone anybody taking juicing as a method to cure their cancer, but um, it, it's based on the theory, uh, the Gearson theory, and I did a whole interview with him. It's like an hour, hour and a half long. You can actually see it or actually listen to it on amina.fm. Just look for the episode with Eric in it. Um, uh, I think it was like episode like 30 something, but definitely check that out. Uh, so he was going on saying how for two years he juiced uh, using the Gearson method. It's actually a book you can get on Amazon. And uh, he ended up getting rid of his cancer. So it was a really amazing story that he had. He was in American Men to Warriors right after that. He ended up um, going back to being an international pilot. So he is a pilot too. And uh, just all of the stuff that he's done uh, since he's got cancer free. He actually came down with cancer twice. So he used the same method of juicing to actually um, fight his second time that he had cancer and he got over that too. So again, I'm not endorsing or condoning or this is not medical advice or anything like that. So you can always consult your doctor or your health nutritionist or whatever you want to do. Um, I'm just telling you his story. So it's secondhand accounts. Uh, or you can, like I said, listen to my podcast. It's at amina.fm. It would be the one that either says um, Eric. Uh, I can't think of his last name right now. Uh, but you'll see the title. It says something about like cures cancer uh, with the Gearson theory. So check that out. So I'll tell you a little bit about what I know about the Gearson theory. I don't. I haven't actually read the book. In fact, I should buy it now that I'm thinking about it. So after this live, I'm going to actually put it on my purchases. <laughs> I highly recommend that you buy it too if you want to learn more about this. Uh, but from what I know from his account, is that you basically are curing uh, the condition inside your body. Uh, you're making it um, less fertile for disease and you are making it uh, where disease cannot settle in your like um, body. Uh, so I, I find it very fascinating because uh, it kind of makes sense too. Because if you don't have like a condition where stuff is attracted to it, you know, like disease or viruses, then why would it stick around? <laughs> it would just flush out or it wouldn't be attracted to you. Just like it, you know, when you're sick or have a cold or anything like that, the only way you're going to get it is if you're, you are, your immune system is weak, right? So I'm like, okay, 
That's really cool. And since cancer runs in my family, <laughs> um, let's see. Yeah, my grandparents and my dad uh, all passed away from diff different cancers. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm doing the juicing. <laughs> like now, why, why I know about it, why I have the information. Um, I've, like I said, I've always taken supplements. For years, I've taken this green drink thing. Not too many years, like four years I've been taking this. But look how, I mean, this is a supplement. This is the actual green drink, you know, <laughs> like it tastes so much better too. I mean, I can't lie. I, I really do like my supplement. Uh, it tastes sweet. And that's why I think I like it because it's sweet berry. And sure, it's fine and all, but you know, I can use this like when I don't have vegetables. <laughs> like now that I, I, and when I have vegetables, I can actually make a fresh one. It literally took what, like five seconds to like cut up some vegetables and throw it in this thing. So I didn't even have to cut them up. Like, the only thing I had to cut up was these apples because my apples are pretty large. So I just cut them in half. You can cut them in four. So it'd probably be easier if you actually cut them in four. So I was kind of struggling there <laughs> for a little bit since I cut them in half. But yeah, definitely, you know, check this thing out. I highly recommend the stainless steel one because it's just gorgeous. I love stainless steel appliances because they're just so nice looking in the kitchen. And I already have a spot that I'm gonna put it right over on the other side behind you guys. Uh, so that's pretty much where it's gonna live, I think. I don't know, I kinda wanna keep it over here now on the counter because I'm gonna be using it every day. So where am I gonna put this thing? Let's see, I can put it where my blender is. Hmm, that could be a possibility. Uh, and then move my blender. I'll just have to move some other stuff though because all my baking stuff is in this drawer. So I'll have to think about it. Because I was going to put my juicer around the corner here behind you. I have uh, another little area of my kitchen. Uh, but if I do that, then I'll have to walk over there. And, well, that's okay. <laughs> I'll just walk over there. I just, I have this little fridge area around the corner that I could probably store all my fruits and vegetables in it for juicing. In fact, I think I'm going to check that out because I think that would be a really good idea. It's just going to be like my juicing, like, center over on that side because uh, I also have my supplements over there so it kind of makes sense you know have my juicer and I have a it's really tall too like the cabinets over it is like I don't know they made it really tall on this side <laughs> it's like the the cabinets start at here and I'm 5'3 so I'm short so I can't reach anything but this will be perfect for that counter because then it'll take up more of the space the reason they did it I know why they did it it's for wine glasses, so I can put wine glasses, and wine glasses will take up the whole counter uh, space. But still, it's annoying because the cabinets are so much higher than <laughs> than I am tall. But I know where I'm gonna put it, so I'm excited because that's where it's gonna live. And I can even rinse out these containers over there because I have a little small sink over there too. But definitely highly recommend. Let's see what this thing ended up looking like. All right, so this is the pulp, right? So this is the pulp of it. I'm actually gonna, let's see if I can, I don't wanna like make a mess, but I do wanna feel how dry it is. Well, it's a little wet. It's a little wet. I mean, it's moist, moist, right? It's not soaking wet, but it is a little wet. And I see why people get the, um, the trash bag, because it is easier. If you have a trash bag sitting in here, you know, then you don't have to, dump this out and then your trash bag and uh, uh, get more of the mess all of your trash bag, you know? Then you got the stuff here too that you gotta knock out, which just take off the top. Don't try to put your hand in there, <laughs> all right? All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this. Anything else uh, down below that you wanna see, let me know. I'm in my kitchen, I've got it all here. So we've got to the um, Hamilton Beach, uh, the can opener, this one does have the, the sharp blade on the inside of it, not on top. So you get a nice uh, clear cut around your cans. Highly recommend that. My Kitchen Aid, which I've had for 16 years. And then I've got a bunch of other appliances in here. If you guys wanna check out any of those, just let me know in the comments. If you guys enjoyed this, make sure that you do uh, hit the follow button. I hope you've enjoyed this review and unboxing of this amazing product here. I highly recommend that you get the Elite, again, because it is a gorgeous stainless steel. It is built to last, and I expect to have this for many, 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 many years. 
And that's why I pay a little bit more to get the Elite just to have, um, you know, something that looks nice in my kitchen for years to come and functions amazing. And it was so easy. Like I tried to make it more difficult than it was, but it was really easy to assemble. Uh, so if you haven't seen the video, if you're just now jumping in, make sure that you do hit that follow button. You can watch this on replay at any time. You can follow along. You can see me how I was, uh, you know, get explain all the, the ingredients that I put into this drink. And look at that. I'm already almost done with this. I might make another one here. <laughs> we'll see. All right, guys. I'll talk to you later. My name is Amina, and then I'll see you on the next live. Take care.